Parrish in the blue corner. And now Lavely's kicked this fight off. Mike Cardoso, about Roman Conley action here tonight. See a big takedown coming in any second now. On the on, 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 uh, beginning to the fight. Seemed like they were trying to wrestle each other, but kind of a slow stop. Something different that we've seen so far this uh, evening here. Yes, I met I met the young man, Matthew Cunningham. Nickname is Baby Zeus. That's right. His dad, uh, Big Zeus. Big Zeus. All around guy. Competes says, with ATT Davy. ATT Davy. He's been training about four or five years. He says he's a complete fighter, and he's looking to finish the fight. Nothing personal. He just wants to get business done. That's how it is. And a different pace. Uh, uh, the start of the fight here from what we've seen so far. Two fighters look a, little, a bit more technical. They're moving around with yep. some better technique. Yep. Bit of head movement by Mr. Matthew. Matthew slow pace, calculating where he's gonna strike. Nice front kick by Peroche. Grabbing a little shorts there. This one in the 145 pound division. Now Mike, with, with the sound uh, and obviously with the crowd, it's a little hard to hear your corner. But in this case, you know, you need your corner. You need to find out exactly what, they, what move they want you to make. Yeah, so it's, it, it changes the dynamic a little bit of the fights because it's more like training at the gym. It's more calm. It's more beneficial for the fighter because they can listen to their trainer. But then your corner can listen to your... You can listen to the other corner's trainer and vice versa. So it changes the dynamic a bit. We're still in... We've got Matthew and, and Peroche's guard here. In a close guard. Pears is attempting to do some up kicks, but didn't work on his, uh, on his side. Patrick there working. To land some sort of action. Laying down. Should Go be already halfway through the round. These th three round bouts go a bit quick. I mean, three minute rounds. Three, right? minute rounds, three minute rounds. They might go quick, but once you're in there, it feels like a year. Feels yeah, like a year, that's for sure. Once again here, joined by Mark Cardoso. Former referee down here, has featured actually in the UFC not too long ago. Thank you, thank you. National TV. As you can see, there's more action here from ATT, North Miami, Aventura. Three or five fights. Stream not 10 seconds. Seconds out in the bout. We're about to finish our first first round of the our evening first first round <laughs> as you proceed now mike unofficially what would you say here has the upper end upper edge of this uh, fight so far i think matthew landed the harder strikes made a few takedowns Sh should have won the round unofficially what would you score i would score this about a 10-9 i'd be surprised if it went 10-9 round for red corner i would be surprised if it went a little different that we're living in with COVID-19. You can see the uh, officials with masks. Who would have thought, huh? Who would have thought? Officials, corners all practicing the proper protocols. The proper protocols and safety procedures to have the, an event like this. I understand that some of the fighters too, most of the fighters, all the fighters, were tested uh, for COVID-19. So it is a, a safe area that we are in. Going into round number two. All right, Alan least having a talk here with Parrish. Not sure what he said. And Matthew has his hands up. Maybe sure he's trying to catch his breath. And here we go, second round. And Matthew in red, Parrish in blue. It could be more distinctive. Matthew with the red trunks and Parrish with the white trunks. Now, Pat, uh, you, see the, you can see the athleticism by Mr. Matthew. Now, well, he did say he's an all-around athlete. He's competed in uh, basketball and football and all sorts of sports. So we all know how much of an advantage a person like that has coming inside the cage. Now, Parrish, I can't, I just can't see it. It's just 
Parrish is, uh, seems like he's bleeding from his nose. He's got a little swelling going on as well. And he has a weird stance, if you notice. He's just he's like a karate kick type of stance, if you ask me. Just waiting for something. He doesn't have his hand. He didn't really have his hands up. It's more like playing the distance with the left hand. Hammer fist by Matthew. Oh, baby Zeus, baby. I see a big strike, big finish coming by Baby Zeus. Nice teep. Teep. From uh, Parrish. Didn't connect, but it looked nice. And he had some back spin, back kick there. I think like Parrish has more of a karate background, kind of kung fu type of background. It appears by the fighting stance. It looks like he's getting his second wind here. Really patient, trying to breathe in. Now, if I were Matthew, Mike, I'd take advantage. As you can see that Matthew does have the cardio to be the aggressor in this fight. He might be finishing it, finishing it up. Yeah, they're, they're just moving around, feeling at each other, feeling out, seeing what openings they can see. Now, when, you, when you compete against a fighter, say, like, like Paris here, who has that background of the karate, you know, it's working too, some diagonal moves and pushing him into the pocket, you know, he could be yours. That's Something true. that Matthew should be really looking into doing. He has the head move, he has the quickness. You gotta step in, be the aggressor, push Parrish. Absolutely, absolutely. Parrish is just waiting very patiently so he waiting, can strike. Trying to pick his strikes, see what he sees. Matthew once again playing, uh, or dancing around trying to get Paris, but if he were to cut the corner and Matthew getting in. Okay, Matthew getting a little hot there, a little aggressive. Paris uh, there with the, uh, the mustache has that 70s look. <laughs> the end of round number two. But very dangerous, he has his hands down. <laughs> you know, I've never understood why some fighters have their hands down. They don't know how important it is. How important it is. There's a reason you keep your hands up. I mean, it's so upsetting. I only one guy that can really get away with it, and that's Floyd Mayweather, and that's because of his head movement that he has. Absolutely. That's a hard skill to develop. But other than that... I, Any I, young fighters out there, keep your hands up. You gotta keep your hands up. It doesn't matter how good you are, you're a kung fu expert, 10 degree belt, whatever you have to keep your hands up in this game of mixed martial arts. It's a, it's a well, that's what they call it, mixed martial arts, because you never know where it's going to connect. How do you see this fight going into the third? Well, once again, I'll, I'll, I'll have the upper edge here, 10 9 for Matthew Cunningham, unofficially. I, I don't see Paris doing much, he's just patient. Matthew should be taking the aggression here. He has to be aggressive. This fight is in his hands. He just has to be more aggressive. He definitely has the speed. He has the cardio in the tank. Cut the corners, circle in, and you'll be going home with the W, man. And that, and land some heavy strikes. Try the free food is there for you to grab. You just gotta yeah, you should just take it. That's it. That leg is right there, ready for him. He has to kick. Remind you, I haven't seen too many kicks from Matthew. Yeah, he looks more like a boxer to me, but he's he's landing. He's not taking much shots. Oh boy, but I'm telling you, having the experience with Muay Thai, that left leg is wide open. Play the clinch, he had an opportunity to get in there, lay some knees. Matthew has had many opportunities to really. There it is, Here's there the it kick. is. That's exactly it. If he were to do this for the rest of the round, 
Look at his hat in his pocket. We have some blood on the shorts from Paroche. Yep. Matthew, too, if you would have used that jab, attack that left leg, it'll be his all day. And, and Parrish, you know, if, if you just think that he's just going to be sitting there like a zombie, he has to attack. Yeah. He's not winning any points. He's not winning any points. You're not impressing the judges. You're not impressing the judges. You're absolutely right. Oh, a nice spinning kick by Brooks. And he's waiting for that moment to strike, but Matthew's not a slouch here. He's a dangerous fighter. Fast pace, there it is. Matthew got to work some of that boxing, some of that, that jab, go inside to attack. You know, considerably, in the first and second, we haven't seen too much action in this last round. Not in this last round. Front kick from Parrish. Another front one. Yeah, there's no doubt that Parrish's kicks are solid. He's depending primarily on his kicks. On his kicks, yeah. He needs to cause some damage with those kicks. Ten seconds left Ten in seconds this round. left in the round. Looks like Matthew's going to try to push the action at the end. Fight that goes the distance. The first fight that goes the distance. Gentlemen, after three rounds of action, we go to our judges' scorecards, and they've awarded your winner by way of unanimous decision, Matthew Cunningham.